And of course, the practical joke line, one two two three nine seven nine seven, otherwise known as the long distance line. One for all of you folks out there who, you know, it would be a toll call to call the 990 number or the 461 number. The 223 number is also a toll call, but nonetheless, we call it the long distance line just to have fun with you. And you don't, you know, catch on for four or five weeks until the phone bill comes anyway. Well, there are a number of issues to cover this afternoon, I want you to know. First and foremost, so far my gutless colleagues in the media have avoided this issue, have avoided it like the plague this morning. The issue that I speak of, of course, is Gail Sirens. Oh, oh my God. I, the, here is the question for this afternoon. There will be others, but amongst others, the question is, what other jobs should girls not attempt to do? I mean, can you imagine a girl in the announcer's booth? Oh, at a football game even? My golly goodness. Sports section. But I just thought we'd ask the question, what other jobs should girls not attempt to do? I mean, can you imagine there are girls reading the news on television? Mercy. I mean, we, we even have one here trying to do a talk show. I mean, that takes a lot of what they don't have, don't you think? But football is the least of what they shouldn't be doing, I suspect. I, at least I suspect that's what, what you guys would, would say. Issue number two this afternoon. I just, oh, I just loved listening to this earlier this morning. I mean, just when you get to thinking, just when you get to thinking, maybe, maybe the American people ain't all that bad. Maybe they are smart enough to tie their own shoes. You listen to a show where they bitch and moan about $8 million being spent to build a school in Paris for North African refugees. I mean, you would think, you would think that this $8 million was being used to slaughter people. I mean, every single day of the year, we drop far in excess of $8 million to kill people in remote corners of the world that we couldn't point out on a map if we tried. And that's okay. Nobody complains about that. But God forbid you should spend $8 million to build a school. You know, do a little good PR for a change with our tax dollars. And all you hear is bitching and moaning about it. I mean, even the guy... I shouldn't tell you this. Third issue. I thought maybe it might be fun today. Just a little bit of fun. To allow the... Let's see, how do, we, how do we want to phrase this delicately? The seniors in our audience to beat up on the young whippersnappers. Huh? I mean, tell them what for. Tell those young whippersnappers what for. You're always complaining, that is the seniors in the audience, you're always complaining that young people are beating up on you. Yeah, complaining about your driving, complaining about your weird clothes, complaining about your weird ideas, complaining about your weird music and all that kind of good stuff. The fact that you always play bingo, go to the early birds. So I thought that maybe we might, you know, turn the tables today and allow the seniors to beat up on the young whippersnappers. You know, I, I'm kind of in between. Kind of in between. I've got lots of gripes with the seniors. I have lots of gripes with the young whippersnappers, too, I don't mind telling you. But they are the issue. They are the three issues of the day. I will again give you the Fonortner numbers, since it didn't seem to do a hell of a lot of good the first time around, but I, I, I'm persistent. If nothing else, I am persistent. <laughs> yes, I have it. And I'm prepared. Sometimes I feel like like a fifth grade teacher. Remember how your fifth grade teacher used to say things on Monday like, let's put our thinking caps on, let's get back to work here. Aaron and Carolwood. Hi, Aaron, you're on the air. Hi, Bob, this is Aaron. Uh, I wanted to make some comment about, you know, about the $8 million spent on our country starts putting our money where we want it to go. You know, um, I'm, I'm really, I don't really care about people. Goodbye, and I don't need that kind of language. Tex and Palm Harbor High Tex, you're on the RWFLA. Hey, Bob. Hi. You know, I gotta, I gotta take issue with you about the eight million bucks. Mm -hmm. You know, it really hacks me off. But mm -hmm. uh, in a way, and you know, you're probably going to hear a little bit of uh, reiteration of what uh, Mr. Norman was saying, sick Norman. Uh, that you know, we'll send eight million bucks over to France to build a Jewish 
private school, and yet we watch our schools over here just go to pot. And that kind of hacks me off. And I don't think it's, uh, you know, you sit there and... Well, it's the American there. people that like to let their schools go to pot. Excuse me? It's the American people that like to let their schools go to pot. Oh, well, sure, 100% correct. But I'm just saying that the $8 million bucks would be a lot better spent over here. Uh, and as far as, you know, women in sports, I mean, give me a break. If you were visually impaired, Bob, and you were sitting there trying to listen to a play-by-play, -play, a so-called play-by-play, on one of the major networks, you'd be at a loss and, and unless they gave you the score to know what was halfway going on because these guys don't do play-by-play. -play. They sit there and tell jokes and, you know, and make goofy comments. You know, it's not play-by-play -play anymore. And I think that if Gail can bring a little bit, a little bit of that back into it, then uh, by God, all more power to her. And uh, let's see, what other, what was your other topic? Wasn't for you. Old folks. No, it wasn't old folks. It was young whippersnappers. I'm a young whippersnapper, and I don't have nothing to say about the old people. Because one of these days, I'm going to be old, too, and I'll probably be senile, and I'll probably be full of crap. Mm, suspect but by God, that's my right. I earned it. You know, if I've been here 70 years, i got a right to be a little crusty. But whatever. Hey, Bob, you know, you want to argue about the eight million bucks or what? Do I want to argue about it? Sure. No. Come on, Bob. This, li listen, Lassiter, I haven't had my ankles chewed on really good in a long time. The, the scabs have already sloughed off. And there's you, know, you, you know, Tex, I, I, I'm not sure if it was you or somebody else that uh, I said this to last week, but I, you know, I just really don't need Lassiter fans calling up, taking an opposite position in some type of contrived argument. Well, uh, okay. I, I, it just doesn't do anything for me at all. Just to keep them out of Israel. It's the way that... Uh, no, I know no such thing. It's the way the Zionists... No, I know no such thing. Well, you don't... You're not very well informed, then. I'm very well informed, thank no, you. No, you're not. Goodbye. Oh, I see. <sighs> oh, I'm just in no mood for this nonsense today. Just in utterly no mood whatsoever. You do have the phone numbers. I don't intend to give them out for the remainder of the program. You guys do with it whatever the hell you want to do with it. Because you really have me awfully angry today. Awfully, awfully angry. By the way, there's not a call on the board, you know, so whenever you guys feel like playing, go right ahead. Mary and Ruskin, hi, you're on the air, WFLA. Yes, uh, you know that the Hawaiians, the native Hawaiians... Yeah. Turn your damned radio down and turn it down the now. Na turn your radio down now. The Native Hawaiians are practically starving. They need schooling and for any way to give money away to, to, to these Jewish people or whatever they are, it doesn't matter. But you know, the Hawaiians need it desperately. Who oh, is isn't. Oh. You know that you're a very obnoxious man. I'm very obnoxious, ma'am, to very obnoxious women. Charity begins at home, you know. Tell the jerk in the background if he wants to talk to me to have the guts to come on the phone himself instead of telling you what to say. He isn't telling me what to do. <laughs> oh, really? That's amazing, because everything I hear him say, you you repeat. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. It's amusing. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, goodbye to you, too. And to the jerk in the background as well. Mary in Clearwater. Hi, you're on the air WFL. Larry in St. Petersburg. Hi, you're on the air WFLA. Is this me? I assume so. Okay. Be good. Sue in St. Petersburg. Hi, you're on the air WFLA. You too, Gestapo. Same deal. <laughs> Luke and Tampa, you're on the air WF. Tony in St. Petersburg. Hi, you're on the air WFLA. Hey, Mr. Lassen, how you doing? Fine. Tony from St. Pete. You in a good mood today? Doesn't make it any difference to what you call for, Tony. Oh, I wanted to see, I wanted to talk about the schooling part and, uh, how, much, uh, how many millions were sent there to build a school? Mm -hmm. Eight million or something? Yeah. And I also heard there was somebody talking about that the uh, school was built more for uh, black Jews or something. Can you uh, can you tell me more about that? Exactly. What no, Tony, I don't run an information service. You don't call me up, you know, find out what the local news is. You know, you can read the well, newspaper I know, for I that. I know you're in a bad mood, so happy, happy New Year. Yeah, same to you too, Tony.